Okay, when we're training, we don't want to accelerate the aging process. And one way we do that is having horrible posture by designing a wrong workout. So we just straighten them up with a smack on the shoulder, but it's not that simple. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna talk to you about some common mistakes you might be making in the gym and what you need to do to change your philosophy to fix it. Okay, so up here we've got designed your average gym rat workout, right? How do I know what the average gym rat workout looks like? Because you assholes send it to me all the time. <laughs> so, what does an average person do? One, we're gonna go bench four sets of 10. That's 40 reps with 135 if you're a puss, and you're doing 5,400 pounds of work just in four sets of 10 with 135. Doesn't sound like that much. Add it up though, it's a lot. Then you do incline flies because you think pecs are the way to go. Right, so you did three sets of 10 with 30 reps. You had 30 pound dumbbells in each hand. That's 900 pounds. Then you did front raises for your front delts, right? You did three sets of 10 with, that's 30 reps with 15s. That's 450 pounds of work. In total, anterior pressure wise, we did 6,750 6, pounds of work in just only three exercises and very minimal. So you can imagine we've seen way worse than this. Now, here's how you fix it. So what's wrong with what we just saw? Well, everything is doing this and we don't have anything to pull us back. So what I've learned in the last 27 years of competing and breaking multiple world records and benching well over 600 pounds many times in competition is that anterior to posterior volume, there's a huge trick to it. It has to be two times the work on the backside than the front. And that also means in the same day, so, if I were to do a normal bench press workout with 135 and do some front raises and some incline flies, I'm going to need to double this 6,750 pounds of work to almost 12 or 13,000 pounds of back. Sounds like a lot, but it's really not. It adds up very, very fast. So, if you want one big trick now to fix your gym rat workout that's going to mess up your posture, have two times the back work that you do the front then you won't have posture like Josh before I hit him in the shoulder, which you're seeing here. Okay, so we benched, we did incline flies, we did front raises. Now, instead of doing more pec and more anterior shoulder work, now we gotta attack the back. But we have to do double the work. We already talked about that. So, if I do seated rows with 100 pounds for four sets of 15, that's 5,500. Then I do rear delt flies with 15 pounds, three sets of 20, that's 900. And then I finish off with 120 pound lat pull downs, three sets till failure. I achieve 60 reps in those three sets, 7,200 pounds. Total is 13,600. Now I have done double the back work that I did the front work. Not only is my posture gonna go up, but the posterior chain is the limiting factor to most people's presses and how big their pecs and arms can be due to the health of the shoulder. So we all want big pecs, we all want big upper bodies, but remember that the lats and the scapular muscles are the key to making sure that you can train for a long period of time without having a lot of issues. So we need to remember two times the work on the back side than the front side, okay? We also need to remember that posture tends to be our limiting factor in not only how much we can squat and we deadlift, but also how much we bench. So just make sure if you're doing a lot of pec work and you're doing a lot of shoulder work that you're counterbalancing that with a lot of back. So if you like what you saw, go check out the belt squat tutorial, check out the bench press technique tutorial, and make sure that you add some comments at the bottom if you'd like some more information on how to make sure that your shoulders stay healthy when you're trying to build a big upper body.